Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Uh, we have here today a 2005 Toyota Avalon, six cylinder, and at the, it's throwing an engine code. It has a misfire going down the road occasionally, and it's showing engine code P0356. So I apologize for not showing downloading the code. I just spaced it out, but <clears throat> all I used here was this. Just this cheap $20 OBD2 scanner. Just follow the directions in the manual, plug it into the car, turn the key on, and then uh, follow the instructions to uh, read the code here. We come up with P0356. So your code reader will come with this manual. What we can do here is find that code. Okay, P0356, ignition coil F, primary secondary circuit mate malfunction. So we got P0351 through P0358, well even farther than that, but we'll just deal with those. It'll, it'll continue on, you'll see how this works here. Now, P0356 is in ignition coil F. Now, you'll, it'll either say, you know, ignition coil F or ignition coil 6, depending on how your code reader works. So, what we do here, how this works, <clears throat> to get to the ignition coils, you just, on Toyota's, pop this cover off here. And you'll have... Three in the front, one, two, three, and three back under the intake on the back side. And hopefully, uh, it's not one on the back side when you when you have your problem. So those are a real pain to get to. So you have our book says A, B, C, D, E, F. So on a Toyota, it was A, B, C, D, E, and F, or cylinder. Cylinder one, cylinder two, three, four, five, six. So that'll correspond to your code. So P0356 corresponds to cylinder number six, okay? So, you know, 351, 352, 353, 354, 355, 356. So that's how you identify which one it is. Now, about a year and a half ago, uh, I had a couple bad ones, so I went through and I replaced all six. Now we got a number six that's bad here. Well, it's reading that it's got a misfire. So first thing I would do to rule out other possibilities, pull number six out of here and just swap it out with a known good one. So say cylinder number two is not giving you any problems. Let's take number six, swap it over into number two and put number two here. Now, I did that, and then I was suddenly reading that number two had a misfire. So, we know it's the coil. It's not wiring, you know. If, if this wiring here was bad, or something else was the problem, you would sh still show the misfire in cylinder number six. So, we know that, you know, by swapping it into a known good spot here, that the ignition coil is bad. Uh, I'd already cleaned this up here in preparation. But, uh, so we know we need, need to uh, replace this ignition coil. So I'll get my tools together here. And first thing we're going to want to do is just clean this area up here so we don't drop any debris down into that tube when we pull that out. All right, so we got that area all cleaned off. What you're gonna want here is just a 10 millimeter ratchet. There's no reason to use a power tool on this. You just don't want to crack the plastic. These uh, coils can be, you know, 70, 80, 100 dollars a piece. So we'll just, and they're not in there tight. You just crack it loose. If you got to pull this plug off. There's usually a little tab on here, but those things break off so easy. I've, 
broke it off before. It's not a big deal. Let's pull that off. This is just a little hold down bolt here. Set that aside. And then this will come out. Just got to pull a little bit. They don't come out hard. That's what they look like. Uh-oh. Should be a rubber piece on the end here. It stayed down in there. So I'm going to have to go fishing for that. I'm just going to use these long needle nose pliers here. Just real gentle. There. We got her. Just this rubber piece. No biggie. What it should look like when it comes out. This rubber piece just goes on there. And that's what it should look like when it comes out. And down in that hole. You just got the spark plug down in there is all that should be left. Here we got our new coil here. So we got everything out of that tube. All we got to do is drop it back in there. Now we don't need to reef this down really tight. It's all just plastic here. It's got an insert through the hole, but uh, you still don't want to sit here and reef on it, so you crack it. Just snug it up real good. Plug her back in. And then let's just... Uh, fire it up here and make sure we don't get any immediate misfires or anything. Okay. We have no check engines here or anything, so that's good news. Uh, you know, it could potentially, if you're if you're going to have a problem, might not happen right away. It could take a little bit, but pretty confident that was a problem because I've had this problem before. All we have to do then, snap this baby back in place. We are all set. So that's uh, code P0351 through P0356 if you have an 8-cylinder. Of course, it'll go all the way up to cylinder number 8, P P0358. And the pattern for the cylinders continues in the same fashion. You just have two more. So, hope that was helpful. And uh, we'll see you next time.